Welcome to the CACFP Meal Patterns Training. On April 25, 2016, the U.S. Department of Agriculture, also known as USDA, published the final rule for the new CACFP Meal Pattern. The CACFP Meal Pattern aligns with the new dietary guidelines for Americans. It strengthens the nutritional quality of the meal served, allows for sponsors to serve more diverse and culturally appropriate foods, and addresses dietary needs of participants. CACFP sponsors and providers must comply with the new meal pattern no later than October 1, 2017. The purpose of this training is to review and discuss changes to the meal pattern that went into effect starting October 1, 2017. For an overview of basic meal pattern requirements, refer to the CACFP Policy and Procedure Manual for Center-Based Sponsors Training, Chapter 8, Meal Service Requirements. This training was revised and updated in July 2018. In this series of trainings on the new meal pattern, we will introduce the meal pattern and then break down the meal pattern by component and address the changes for each component individually. We will also cover how to develop a menu for the new meal pattern. There will be questions during each meal pattern component section to test your knowledge. There are two additional trainings for specific types of sponsors. Sponsors who serve participants through at-risk after-school programs should take the Offer versus Serve training as well. And sponsors who serve infant participants should also review the infant meal pattern training. For supplemental resources, check out the ODE Child Nutrition Program's CACFP Meal Pattern and Menu Planning webpage. This page can be reached from the main ODE CNP CACFP page. All CACFP sponsors and providers must have implemented the new meal patterns on October 1, 2017. The new child and adult meal pattern allows for wider varieties of protein options, a greater variety of vegetables and fruits, more whole grains, and less added sugars and saturated fats. Changes to the new meal pattern are listed throughout this presentation in bold. With the new meal pattern, there are now five food components instead of four food components. Instead of having fruits and vegetables as one component, the component is now split into a separate fruit component and a separate vegetable component. As always, the minimum serving sizes for each age group should be served for a reimbursable meal. Refer to the child and adult food charts for serving size requirements for each age group, food component, and meal or snack. The chart on the left of the slide is for the child meal pattern. The chart on the right of the slide is for the adult meal pattern. This food chart can be found on the ODE CNP CACFP meal pattern and menu planning webpage. For breakfast, three of the five food components must be served. It must include a milk, a vegetable or fruit, or both, and also a grain. In the Meet Me alternate section later on in this training series, there will be an explanation on how and when to substitute a meat or meat alternate for the grains component. For lunch or supper, five food components are required. It must include milk, meat meat alternates, vegetables, fruits, and grains. For snack, two of the five components must be offered. Pick two components from milk, meat meat alternates, vegetables, fruits, and the grains components. The age group for the child and adult meal patterns have stayed the same with the addition of the 13 to 18 year old age group. All other age groups, one to two years, three to five years, six to 12 years, and the adult age group have stayed the same. The 13 to 18 year old group is designed for at-risk after-school programs and emergency shelters only. This age group can also include migrant children up to age 15, as well as disabled teenagers in child care centers and family daycare homes. 
Now that you know the age groups and the food components, go to the next section on fluid milk to learn more about the individual components.